The federal government recently reviewed the consolidated medical salary structure. But the problem is that it was finalized on May 25th, before the removal of fuel subsidy and the attendant escalation of inflation. Well, today, Dr. Caleb Akuri, President Association of Re Resident Doctors, Cross River State, will join us this morning to shed more light on the new demand by the Nigeria Medical Association on our first hot topic. Mining used to be a big deal in Nigeria before we discovered oil, the black gold, in 1956. Well, upon the discovery of oil, Nigeria abandoned not just mining, but also agriculture. And now, about 90% of our foreign exchange revenue comes from oil. An ugly trend that the new Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Dele Alake, clearly wants to reverse by targeting 50% GDP contribution from the extractive sector and giving ultimatum to illegal miners in the country. That's our second hot topic this morning on The Breakfast. We'll also be taking a look at the front pages of some national dailies on Off the Press, where an analyst will be joining us to do that. Good morning and welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Maureen Menon Wezigwe. It's the Tuesday edition. We call it the Technophile edition of the program. And straight away, we'll give you our top trending. Zamfara closes five markets where bandits trade rustled cattle. The government there announced the immediate closure of cattle markets, popularly known as Kara, in five LGAs of the state. The Commissioner for Information and Culture, Manir Haidara, said in a statement on Sunday that the temporary closure of the market was the outcome of a Security Council meeting. And according to Haidara, the affected cattle markets include Danjiba and Konchin Kalgo, Bagega and Wuya cattle markets in Safi and Anka local government areas. Others are Dangulbi and Denseldao in Maru local government area, Daurang in Zurmi local government area, and Nasarawa Burkulu in Bukim local government area. The commissioner said security agencies and the State Directorate of Animal Health and Livestock Development are directed to ensure strict compliance with the measures. And from that first top trending, We'll move to the second top trending, where UK has issued 132,000 visas to Nigerians in 2023. And um, this represents a 10% share of all permits issued by the UK in that period. The British Deputy High Commissioner to Nigeria, Johnny Baxter, said the visa increase was due to several factors, including the strong economic ties between the two countries and the growing number of Nigerians studying in the UK. Baxter also noted that the UK government recently changed its rules on student visas, which will allow students to bring their dependents to the UK. This is expected to lead to further growth in Nigerian students coming to the UK. The UK government has also increased the fees for applications. Baxter said this was necessary to cover the cost of processing and providing services to visa holders. He advised Nigerians to apply for visas well before their travel as there can be delays in processing applications. The increase in issuance to Nigerians is a positive sign for the relationship between the two countries. Well, it also reflects the growing economic and educational ties between the UK and Nigeria. Well, those are the two top trending this morning. We'll take a break now and come back and give you our off the press. Stay with us. <laughs> 